Hey, it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today we are reviewing a very fun brand. It is Kaleidos. I didn't know until recently that Kaleidos is a Chinese brand, but I got these things a while ago, but it took me kind of a long time to kind of accumulate it all. So for Christmas, I got the Escape Pod palette, but then the uh, then I got a gift card with the palette, so then when I went to place the order for the rest of my things, they weren't shipping to Hawaii anymore. This was during the pandemic, the later parts of the pandemic, so yes, I've had this makeup for a long time. But yeah, they weren't shipping here anymore, so then I had to ship it to my family on the mainland, and then they had to ship it to me. So it was a whole big long process before I was actually able to get this makeup. And then, you know, it's just going through some stuff, so I didn't film the uh, review right away. But I have a lot of makeup looks, actually, that I've done with these products, so I will show those on the screen now. I've used the blush, the lipstick, the eyeshadow palette, and even more recently, the highlighter. So I think I've actually tried everything here at least once, but this is going to be my formal review and more specifically looking at the brand as well. So I pulled up their website and they have a who we are section and it seems like it was founded by a beauty blogger, Zoe Poo, um, her boyfriend, Tony Chen, and a high school friend, Mark Henry. Henry. And they um, founded it because they wanted to um, build a new culture in the industry that values free and creative self-expression through makeup rather than the use of makeup for fixing and conforming to beauty standards. I think that's really cool. I think that's a very good message and like hope for the brand and it says they're committed to authenticity and they promise to be transparent with customers and they invest their resources to develop products with the highest standard possible no matter the cost and their goal is to bring the absolute best value on the market so it seems like they have really great values and practices i mean at least in writing and then they have um, an RDNA section, which is um, individuality. Our motto is no authority. We believe in never feeling limited by others' ideas of how to live. Following your own instincts is empowering. And that's why we urge you to take time to discover and embrace your own individual style. Then they have authenticity. We believe in honesty. We encourage only true self-expression and never imitation. And then is eccentricity you know, like, I can't say the word, eccentric. We want to inspire people to go outside the box and appreciate infinite forms of beauty. At our core, we strive to always be open-minded and highly imaginative. This enables us to be constantly innovative and free to explore vibrant, unconventional possibilities in all we do. So that's really good. You can find all of this information at the bottom of their website. It, it's in the um, our story sort of section. And then they have um, some eyeshadow palettes. I think some of the eyeshadow palettes are going, um, they're going to discontinue them. But I think they're continuing the um, Escape Pod palette that I will be reviewing today. And then, oh, I think they might have already discontinued some of the palettes. Then for face, they have the Space Age highlighters. That's actually why I started looking into this brand in the first place. I really liked their highlighters and I was looking for something kind of multi-dimensional. So I found their brand through this highlighter. And then I finally bit the bullet to get it when I saw the palette because I was really excited about the palette. Uh, they have blushes. They have contour, which I want to try, but I, I don't have it yet. And they have a face illuminator and then lips. They are really popular for their cloud lip clays. I kept the boxes for all of my cloud lip clays. And you can also build sort of like bundles. So I will go over all the products I have. I will give you guys some swatches and then I'll do a makeup look. Originally I was planning to do a more low key makeup look but their message is all about being eccentric and going outside of the box. So I think I'm just gonna go off the cuff and figure something out as I go. That's how most of my makeup looks go anyways, so that's what it is. Okay, so the first thing is the Kaleidos um, Escape Pod Palette. It comes in this cool box. I really like the design of it. And then it has um, all the ingredients and information on the back. And then this is the palette itself. 
I just love the colors of it. It's like all over it. And then inside, it has a nice mirror. And all of the colors. I really, really like the color scheme of this. The only thing I don't like about this palette is it like these colors kind of are peeling off right now. Because every time I open it, it like sort of crinkles it so some of the colors have peeled off like on the edge right here but underneath it's silver and like sort of holographic silver so it still looks pretty cool then i built uh, a lip clay trio and with the bundle you can get a cool tin with it so this is the tin i got it i know this looks like cannabis but it's not it's a i think a cactus flower but it has snakes on it and it has the brand name and I really liked it and it's really good quality. And then inside I have my four lip clays. You could choose four of them in the bundle and there's a cool snake design inside. And then I got four different colors. I got a nude, a red, a purple, and a... And a brown. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I got four of those and then for the space age gifted highlighter I got one of their um, more multi chrome ones and this is the space age one so they have like different names for all of their different highlighters and they have like different tones I guess you could say like there's a blue one there's a yellow one there's a pink one there's so many different shades you can kind of get in the highlighter but it's like not a very um not a very opaque highlighter it just has like that sort of reflect in it with the with the color and then i got a mono blush i actually really like their blush formula so i think i'm gonna get more of them and the packaging is just so cute it comes in this really cute lace and it's very you can actually feel the texture it's not just like printed on there so i really like the way this is designed and it shows more of like the lace pattern on the packaging and then it's just a very pretty red blush and something i've learned because i've been looking into more uh, chinese makeup brands because i really want to try them but they, they don't ship here so i've been having to figure out ways to get these products without um without being able to get them directly to my house. But anyways, something I've noticed is a lot of these Chinese brands have really cool packaging, like out of this world packaging. And I don't know like if part of the price is the packaging, but I'm, I'm willing to pay it every single time. I'm such a sucker for packaging. I really, really, really am. Okay, so let's get started with the swatches. I got my makeup wipe and I'm ready to proceed. So something I recommend when you're swatching face products is not to do it on the inside of your forearm because that's usually lighter. It is similar to what your face is actually gonna look like, but I swatch it on my hand because this is like one of the darkest points on my body. So if it shows up well on here, it'll show up well on my face. It's especially a point important for brown skin people. You need to do a little extra swatching to make sure it shows up on you. So it's just so soft and silky and it, it just goes on so great. And then here we go. It's such a pretty blush and it blends out so well. I love it. And then look at how much comes off on the, on the <laughs> wipe. Okay, now with the Space Aged Highlighter. I'm going to also do this on my hand. I'm going to lower the brightness a little bit so you can see it better. It looks just white in the pan, but in person you can kind of see the reflect. So I'm going to go in with that and I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see the glow very well, but it's like pink and green and yellow all in one and it is so stinking beautiful. I love it. The highlighters are a little bit expensive, but it's so, so worth it. Okay, then let's go to the Escape Pod palette because there's a lot of colors in here. So we have, uh, we have two rows of mattes. 
The top is our multicolored mattes and then the bottom is more of our neutral mattes. Then we have one shimmer down at the bottom here and then a row of shimmers. I'm going to put this a little bit closer to you so you can see it better. Now let's get swatching. I'm not very good at this but I'm going to try my best and I'm just going to go down the row. So I got my purple. Is it? I'm just going and going and going. I'm like on the edge of my arm here. This orange. This sort of purplish blue. That's like one of my favorite colors in here, if I can find it. Okay, then I'm going to do the other mattes at the bottom before I do the shimmer row. Because I feel like the shimmer row is what we buy the palettes for, really. Because mattes are pretty easy to do. These mattes are very soft and buttery. But, you know, a lot of palettes have these basic mattes. But it's the shimmers that are like so specific to a brand that like really makes it. So I'm going with a dark brown. It's kind of like a an earth brown, like a red mud. I think I missed that completely. There we go. Better focus. And then this is just a really pale color, so I don't think you'll be able to see it on me. It's like a blending shade. And this is like a cool tone brown. <laughs> that swatched so badly. I'm not good at swatches at all. I think what I'm gonna do for this next part is maybe do like what you see on like actually Instagram. I'm just gonna swatch it all on my arm then I'll show it to you. It's like kind of hard to do because what do, how do I show it to you? Like I'm showing you the dark mark. Harry Potter anyone? <laughs> Starlight Sonata. Amaretto. Space Oasis. Ooh. Cosmic Cabaret. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. Okay, so. Can you see them? I'm like twisting my arm in all of these different angles so you can see them. And then on Instagram, a technique I learned is that you put your phone on like flash and then you unfocus it so you can actually really see the glitter really well. I have glitter all over my hands, but that's okay. Galactic Gala and Saturn Alia. The last two green shades. Don't look in my armpit. Look. <laughs> This is so hard to do. Now let's do the lippies. I try to get like a variety of sort of shades because I don't, ha I mostly have like pink and um, red lipsticks. So this is the shade Sienna. These are so, like when they say clay, it really is like clay. They're really buttery sort of matte lips but they're not very drying I do see that um because I have pretty lined lips that sometimes it does settle into it this is the shade smeared rouge isn't that such a pretty it's like a vampire red and then this one is Queen of the Night. This is the purple one. I can't do it like that. I have to look. I'll get closer in just a second. And then this last one I have is Mahogany. You know, looking at it now on my arm, they do look kind of similar to each other. But 
those are the lipstick shades. And if you want to see how like they blend out, see you can kind of smear them but they still like maintain most of their pigment. Okay, now I need to get this off of me and come up with a makeup look. There is um, a Instagram account I follow, the creator, I think her name is Estonia, if that's how you pronounce it. But she has like these really cool sort of galactic looks. She like spreads out the eyeshadow in such a beautiful way and creates such beautiful patterns. I think I'll like try to do something like that. I'm not going to look at a picture because sometimes when I do that I get too stuck on sort of recreating it instead of just doing my own thing. So I'm going to let my imagination guide me. Oh, these are all the boxes for the lipsticks, by the way. They have some cool little things going on. I don't know why I decided to say them. Oh, because they have like different patterns on the front. I don't know what they are though. I don't know what that one is. This one's a rose. And this one. So they're all from different collections. So that's cool. But now I can finally get rid of all of these boxes. Let's put on some eye base. Give everything a fair shot. This is the Eye Sing <laughs> Eyeshadow Base by Glam Light in the shade Buttercream. I have to do a cooking video soon. I have the ingredients for it and I'm scared they're gonna go bad. <laughs> I need to put down that red blush though. Because I feel like we're going to be going into that area and I want to have the blush down first. But we're going to do it very lightly because there aren't any red shades in this palette. They're pink shades so we don't want them to clash too much. But this is a very beautiful, beautiful blush. I'm just going to get a little tiny bit on the brush. The last time I did my blush like this, my mom was like, why'd you put two lines on your face? My heart stuttered and broke. What do you mean two lines on my face? What do you mean? Does that look like, kind of does. <laughs> blend, blend, blend. Okay, forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, I also wanted to put freckles on. So I'm going to put freckles on. <laughs> I'm just making my nose brown at this point. Does it kind of look like freckles? They're the right shade, they're just so big. Oops, see that's why, because I have a heavy hand. My hands shake, okay? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it looked like a spotted giraffe. Okay, whatever. We have something, a little freck going on. That's the She Glam dark chocolate freck please tint maybe if your hands aren't shaking you can apply it very gently it'll work for you but for me no not a chance what is up okay let's get into the palette what colors are we working with here i have blue on right now so i feel like blue should be the center of my look and then we're gonna like spread out with some pinks and purples. I don't know if I want to do any oranges because the pink is already contesting with with the um blush. So let's do oh first I need to lay down a, a base sort of color. What are you? Are you all my brushes are dirty, so I'm just going to put lo-fi on everything. Okay. 
now let's get into the fun part. Laying down color. What is my creative mind thinking today? Let's go in with Exoplanet. And I don't know how much it comes off. I've only used this palette maybe twice, so I'm not too skilled in it. So forgive the color, but you know, we're having fun and we're following whatever the website said. Let's, let's start in the, right here in the inner corner. And let's mirror that. Where from here? Should we get a little bit of pink going? A little blend of pink? I need smaller brushes. Let's do a little tiny pink. And let's bring out that pink so it's not as harsh. Okay. How do I want to do this? Let me go into Mardi Gras and let's go along the brow bone. Should I go above the brow? Give us like a little, I think yes. I need a smaller, thinner brush to do that, though, I think. Ooh, I like it. Little wispy. Okay, I like that. I like where we're going with this. So we need to do a little bit more of this pink. I think I'll put the highlighter right here in this inner corner because the pink will complement that well. If you're trying to be symmetrical, I recommend looking at yourself from farther away instead of getting up close, because it's a little bit easier to see what all you're doing. Okay, so I dragged out that blue really nicely, so I need to do the same with this purple, which I have it going down so far, so I should continue that. Maybe I'll have it like go around. I'm looking a little alien-like, but it's cool. We have a lot of real estate still that we can play with. Let's give ourselves, I feel like I should do more blue. Maybe here. A lot of makeup is Patience. And I don't have a lot of patience. What now? I feel like we should go off of these spires. They look like kind of like spires to me. Give it more. Give it more, just more. Uh, what am I? Should I do like two or should I have like one? <gasps> I guess we're having one going out. Sorry, I'm silent. I like have so many things going on. And I'm like creating in my head. Let's, I'm gonna go in with Soiree with this little tiny blending brush. And sort of start filling in the lid here. I think this pink up here is frustrating me. Maybe I should just blend it away. <gasps> is 
so it doesn't need to be a harsh line. I'm going to use lo-fi to blend it out. Genius! And just fill in that space there. Nice. Okay, I feel like I want to have like another blue sort of sweeping out here. So I'm gonna... Just pack it on in this part of the lid. Giving us some nice line. It looks cool. Let's see what's not looking right. I have to blend out and do something with all of this open space now. And this isn't blended properly. That's why you need a blending shade. I could fill in those spaces with the sparkle, with the highlighter. Would that? Should I put some orange? No, too much, too much Thai. You know what would make this? Some gems. I should get some gems. I will in just a second probably. That's a brilliant idea, Ty. Gems. A look isn't complete without gems. Okay, I'm gonna use this little flat brush and I'm gonna go in like these open spaces here. Should I put some of the other glitters on? I have this really pretty purple one and the Cosmic Cabaret looked really nice too. I'm gonna put this just in the center there. I need to fix this up a little bit. Okay, I'll be right back. But I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna be cleaning it up a little bit. And if I add anything extra, I'll let you guys know. But this is probably gonna be the final look and I'll add some gems and the lipstick. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, bye. I look like a very beautiful alien. I just put mascara and eyeliner on and added some more sort of sparkle highlight just in all of the right areas. Now we're gonna do lips. So, cause I have such a crazy look going on on top, I think I'm just gonna do a nude lip. I don't have any lip liner, so we're just gonna wing it like everything else. And I think it kind of looks less crazy when my hair is down. Maybe it's because I have bluish purple hair, so it kind of just blends in a little bit. Okay, this has like a tip on it, so I feel like I can kind of line my lips with it a little bit. I didn't put chapstick on beforehand, so I can kind of see it settling. But when I wear this with chapstick, it kind of just slips around. I really like the doe foot on this. It like has a little sort of hole in the center of it, so it kind of holds more product. I just, it distributes really nicely on the lips. Okay. So, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely adore this brand. I really love their color payoff, but above all else, I absolutely adore all of their glitter and sparkle shades. Like, it is just top tier. Like, I don't know if you can, if it translates well to the camera, but this has like a pink reflect in it. You can kind of see some here. I kind of outlined some of my lines. I added a purple high, a purple shimmer and a green shimmer a little tiny bit down there. I just love it. Like this is my go-to when I need like a sparkle or it's not like glitter, like, you know, the Fenty Diamond Bomb, but it's like insane, just like insane 
sort of iridescence. So I absolutely love it. I'm gonna try and get more. I don't know how easy that's gonna be for me. When I was on the website, it didn't have the same notice that it wasn't shipping to Hawaii again, but it also said that some other uh, island countries and and territories they weren't shipping to so I'll have to see what happens if I put my address in so I hope you guys check out the brand once again this is Kaleidos and I will have the website linked down below and I will list all of the products I have used today and I hope you guys had a great time make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment down below if you're so inclined and I will see you guys next time bye